We are learning more tonight about what happened when an off-duty Bay Area pilot tried to cut the engines of a plane that was heading to San Francisco. Court documents reveal Joseph Emerson of Pleasant Hill said he was on magic mushrooms at the time. Today in court, he pleaded not guilty to 83 counts of second-degree attempted murder. Our crime for Amanda Harry joins us now live from the newsroom with what could happen next in this bizarre case. Amanda? A plea of insanity is off the table, according to one lawyer, because Joseph Emerson admitted to taking magic mushrooms before boarding the plane. Prosecutors say the off-duty pilot tried to pull on the handles of the plane's fire suppression system while in flight. If he was successful, it would have cut off fuel to the plane's engines. This is his trip of a lifetime. Tuesday afternoon, Alaska Airlines pilot, 44-year-old Joseph Emerson of Pleasant Hill, appeared in Oregon State Court, pleading not guilty to 83 counts of second-degree attempted murder and one count of endangering an aircraft. Emerson attempted to cut the engines of a plane Sunday night, forcing the flight to make an emergency landing in Portland. Right, you're making an emergency landing in ETA four minutes, the jump seat pilot is the extra pilot they, they give a ride trying to shut down the engines their emergency landing four minutes out court documents say emerson told the two pilots he was not okay before he grabbed the fire suppression handles the pilots grabbed his wrists to stop him the documents go on to explain emerson said his best friend had recently passed away and he was in a mental health crisis he had not slept in over 40 hours and had consumed magic mushrooms approximately 48 hours prior the fact he's on mushrooms has not not going to be a defense to this particular crime. Voluntarily ingesting alcohol, drugs, and then committing a crime, it's not a defense. He also told officers he struggled with depression for six years. But defense attorney Michael Cardoza says he doesn't believe Emerson will be able to use mental health as a defense. As for insanity, can't be used here. The fact that he voluntarily used the drug negates using this as a defense in the case. In addition to the state charges, Emerson faces one federal charge of interfering with a flight crew. Cardoza says Emerson may receive months or even years in federal prison, and there could be more legal battles to come. And I'm sure there are going to be civil lawsuits behind this where people uh, were delayed in business, may have had something physical happen to them. Emerson remains in a Portland jail. His first appearance in federal court will likely be this week. In the newsroom, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News. Amanda, thank you. As Amanda just mentioned, the Pleasant Hill pilot admitted to investigators that he suffered from depression. We know commercial pilots undergo hours of rigorous training, but is there enough attention being paid to their mental health? Captain Laura Einsettler, who's a captain of a major airline, tells us this case brings into focus the importance of diving further into pilots' mental health and making sure they get proper help and support. As far as uh, future going forward and things that we can do to kind of look at and implement, as I said, I would just say things that we need to better recognize and better support pilot mental health aspects. So I think what we're doing is working. We have very strict, very tight standards medically. Um, it's just a matter of saying, hey, if you're struggling, you know, as a pilot or any kind of a crew member, you know, to seek help and to be able to support that pilot who is seeking the help that will be grounded for that time, but can still support their family while they're getting the help that they need. We have more on this story on our website, cron4.com. You can scan that QR code on your screen to go straight to our coverage.